guys, hello to you. For weeks, we've been telling you about what's called the cytokine storm. It's one of the most common complications in the lungs that can lead to deadly consequences from COVID-19. Now, researchers in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology say they may have developed something that could stop the storm and save lives. Already, high-dose IV vitamin C has been used to suppress this cytokine storm. Cytokines go to the small little air sacs in the lungs and inflame them, where it's very hard to transfer oxygen into the blood. And that's why these people are on ventilators under pressure to force oxygen across those membranes. So if you can decrease that inflammation, uh, then that's going to allow th these patients to breathe easier. Now, in this new study, it appears a drug called ruxolitinib may also work to stop this storm. Patients taking two doses of this anti-inflammatory medication improve more quickly with COVID-19 than those not given the drug. All of those who were severely ill who took the drug survived. While larger trials are now in the works, what made this all possible is what you see here. It's a photo, courtesy of Ohio researchers at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, of a blood sample. They help make a model that mimics what happens in this cytokine storm in COVID-19. It helped researchers know they should test this drug to see if it would work in the first place. Researchers say this is the first therapy we know of that appears to work effectively to quiet that cytokine storm and inflammation in severe COVID-19 disease. And there are no significant toxicities to patients who take this drug by about two pills a day. This is critical until we can develop and distribute enough effective vaccine, researchers say, to help prevent people from becoming infected. And medical reporter Liz Bonus will throw it back to you. All right, thank you, Liz. Now